And we got an update for the Ryzen 9700X and the 9600X. Uh, these Zen 5 CPUs are going to 105 watts TDP in a new Agisa update. This is from WCCF Tech. And uh, they're saying that the first two Ryzen 9000 Zen 5 CPUs, the 9700X and 9600X, respectively rolled out last week the mainstream chips were targeted at the masses but originally only had a 65 watt tdp by default and only going up to 88 watt with pbo the ryzen 90 uh, ryzen 5 9600x was rated at the same tdp as the ryzen 5 7600x while the ryzen 7 9700x saw a 40 watt TDP reduction from 105 watts of its predecessor down to 65 watts. Now it looks like AMD, after Paul's hardware and all the review sites, uh, Jay's Two Cents, kind of oh, hardware unboxed. <laughs> it kind of just said, uh. Some of the reviews were about the performance were just lackluster. AMD's like, yeah, I think we might want to pump up the power uh, on this uh, silicone here. So it looks like AMD is preparing to add uh, a new TDP level for its 65-watt chips through an upcoming SMU and a BIOS update, which should increase the limit to 105 watts. By default, the 105-watt TDP will apply to both the 9700X and 9600X, marking a 62% increase over the default 65 watt TDP. And previously, uh, WCCF Tech, even, I think I even covered it here on Tagonzo Media, was planning to, it was a rumor at that time, they were planning to revise the uh, TDP to 120 watt for the 9700X. Doesn't seem to be the case. It is now going to be 105 watts and that has been finalized. The reason behind Okay, uh, the large TDP increase might be due to the lower than expected performance. Of course, the reviews were just... Mm, they, <laughs> basically, I think Steve Burke says, well, oh, that's not Intel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gamers Nexus, gotta love them. Uh, by default, both CPUs perform very closely to their predecessors, and that's kind of like the problem, I guess. There's just not enough uh, uplift to justify uh, upgrading at this point. Uh, despite being 65 watt chips, the 9700X still yields slower gaming per uh, performance versus the uh, 7800X 3D. A lot, and come on, it, it, to, expect, uh, to expect the 7800X 3D to get trounced, <laughs> it was goofy. Uh, I, I just, the, the, that's being divorced from reality. Um, surely users who want to retain higher efficiency can stick with the default 65 watt TDP. They can just enable that in the BIOS. It's probably going to be tied to eco mode most likely, but if you want the higher performance, you're going to have to use the hundred new 105 watt TDP mode. Now, don't know how much of a performance uplift it's going to get, but here's the thing they're saying, uh, they haven't, uh, WCCF Tech hasn't tested it themselves, but a 62% increase in TDP is quite major. So the gains would have to be nice to warrant that new limit. And uh, a 105 TDP means that the chips will also probably end up going up to 142 watts PPT. So there's going to be some nice performance uh, performance increases for the uh, 9700X and the 96X going forward once this new BIOS drops. Anyway, if you like what you see, ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We will see you in the next one. Oh, wrong transition here. <laughs> gotta love, gotta love... Uh... <laughs> Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> yeah, I don't edit crap. You notice that? <laughs> All right, kill this damn thing, will you? <laughs>